the battles between American Alpha and the Wyatt family were unbelievably physical as the teams were going all out to see who would be SmackDown Tag Team Champions. Another rivalry began, and that was between Chad Gable and the Eater of Worlds, Bray Wyatt. Many consider the contest between American Alpha and the Wyatt family as catalyst for redefining the level of competition on SmackDown Live. That's where the hostility between Chad Gable and Bray Wyatt comes from. Two superstars who are part of championship caliber tag team combinations can certainly result in a singles rivalry. Chad Gable versus Bray Wyatt is a complete clash of styles and philosophies. I don't know if they'll ever be a definitive winner in that one. So damaging. Somebody please step in and stop this. He's inflicting some serious pain here. Bray Wyatt making his way up the ropes. Bad move there. I don't know what made him think that was a good idea. Chad Gable not looking so good. But it's going to take a lot more than that to stop him here tonight. Jeez. Chad Gable's been wrestling since he was five years old. Gable was a Minnesota State wrestling champion in high school and a 2012 Olympian representing the United States. In 2015, he debuted on NXT program. Oh, what's Bray Wyatt getting ready to do here? And his elbow finds the mark. He's definitely tapped a power source. hard to rebound from that one. I understand showboating is part of it, but Bray better not lose sight of what really matters. Bray Wyatt is going in for the kill. Drives his opponent down with a urinagi. This could be it. That just echoed throughout this entire arena. Bray Wyatt, big sister Abigail, delivered by Bray Wyatt. There is no coming back to that one. And they kick out it, too. It'll take a lot more than that to keep him down. I'm the eater of love. I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. I'm not sure Bray Wyatt should be playing to the crowd right here. Look out! Now that got those shoulders on the mat. Not enough to end this one. Yeah, he's not done yet. Wow! Putting it all on the line. from Chad Gable. Bray Wyatt on the defensive. I fully expect him to bounce back, though. This is the type of one-on-one -on -one atmosphere where he thrives, and he fights his way free. He's got to be working on instinct right now, Cole. Look at this. Bray Wyatt doing some good work here. Oh, man, what a hit. Knocked right off. Look at this. Look at this. Wyatt kicking some serious tail here. And now 
Bray Wyatt pushing forward. Bray Wyatt, big move coming. Drives his opponent down with a Yurinagi. That has got to be it. He wants no part of the outside. is in a level of punishment that can only be described as severe. Here we go, Bray with her sister Abigail. Going for the cover. Yes! Unreal performance. And here's another peek at some of the more memorable parts of the match. I can watch highlights of that one all night long. One of the great WWE matches I've ever been able to watch. Hope everybody at home set those DVRs because that was a match you're going to want to watch again and again and again. Epic. Count yourselves lucky, people. You might watch WWE for years and only see a match that good a few times. Epic. Here is your winner, Bray Wyatt. And there's your winner here. And That's a big win right there. Anytime you can pin another WWE competitor's shoulders to the mat for the three count, you should be proud. It'll be interesting to see the fallout following this big singles win here tonight. Oh, I think this man needs business. Why are you kicking some serious tail here? The buzzer. Ray Wyatt, big move. Sister Abigail delivered by Bray Wyatt. That might be all she wrote for Chad Gable. Hey, what goes up must come down. Um, 